All right. Hang on. All right. Yeah, it's just tight. There we go. The hard part's over with. Except for this friggin' nail. Hang on. Bloody nail somewhere. All right. Okay, pull out a couple feet because we got to go over to the left of the heater and then over a foot and then out of eight inches. All right. Clunk. Right over the edge. Dangerous. Everything's dangerous. Life's dangerous. Wipe my feet because I've got white paint on the carpets. White paint, rather, on the walls and splattered. Oh, I've done this many times before, and I'll be doing it many times in the future. All right. Got my tools on the nice furniture. So, I'm taking the light switch off the wall and what I do is I stick a saw blade in and I cut the nails. They've used some monster nails. I cut the nails and then you've got to find the nail and push it out of the hole in the electrical box. Right there. It falls into the floor. And you do the same thing on the bottom. And you got to cut some notches because these boxes have these tangs. And pull it out of the wall, like so. And I got a mess going on here, boy. I got an extra power wire or receptacle over there beside the heater. And I've got the original receptacle, continuation, and a, uh, an extra power wire to the smoke detector. Oh no, that power wire is going to there actually. That power wire is going to there. And then I've got this. 14 gauge light duty wire. That's a fixed load and it's going to go to the smoke detector, then to the lamp, then to this extra light switch I'm putting here. So we'll have a switched receptacle over there, plus a hot one to turn on the ceiling fan that I'm going to install. And then I will take off the smoke detector and put a 110 volt with a battery backup over here. And there's a hole I made in the wall. So that's what I'm doing. I gotta just get rid of that other nail. And the box will come out. Give me a second. Dust on the floor. I'll vacuum it up. It's hard to get that lower nail out. It's tricky, but there it is right there. Nails are not the way to attach electric boxes. Got to use screws. Nails come loose with time. Switches is not so bad, but when you've got receptacles and you're constantly plugging in and out over 30 years, nails come loose in the receptacle. It does that in the wall. I bet you everybody's going to comment, oh yeah, it does that in my house. Yep, I screw my boxes in. And there we go. Sometimes I get a little bit of slack in the wire, but sometimes I don't. There, now I put my double box in once I've removed this. See the ears on top? These are brick boxes made to go in brick walls. That's why the screws are on the inside of the box, not on the outside of the box. On top, they're inside. Brick masonry boxes, masonry device boxes. All right, I got work to do around here. And there it is. I just helped one of our new tenants change a light bulb on his 03 Subaru Forester. 
I gotta have him help me push that down. It's not gonna go down. That's my wire that's gonna control the lamp, ceiling fan lamp, and uh, I'm gonna get power from here, power there, switch back up to there. We'll get her done. I'm gonna leave a clean apartment when I'm done. Don't wanna leave any particles of plaster on the ground. Clean her up. I just did something stupid easily corrected. I put the switch for the downstairs up through the wall to the upstairs <laughs> so the girl upstairs here or whoever can control the lights down there. This is a different apartment than that apartment so I'm just going to pull this through. That's funny. I'm thinking light switch so I just went up to the light switch but that doesn't belong in there. That belongs downstairs. It's easy to get confused when we're wiring two apartments at once because we do wiring on both apartments more or less simultaneously. So, plus I'm texting my friends, which is conducive to concentrating on my work. But yeah, I had it wired through the upstairs. The girl upstairs turns on her lights and lights up downstairs and she'll flick it. And the girl downstairs is saying, what the hell's going on here with the flickering lights? The girl upstairs will be saying, why don't my friggin' lights work? <laughs> side. That's going to be tricky. Clunk. Oh boy. Alright. We'll figure it out. Alright. That goes to downstairs. Not upstairs light switch. Dum diddy dum dum. I'm listening to a decision in New York State, I think it is, about a guy that murdered his wife 20 years ago, and now he's uh, being granted permission to get a trans sex change operation because he's really a woman, changed his name 20 years ago. He's really a woman living in a man's body in an all-male prison, and he's on a hormone therapy, and isn't it nice that the state is providing him with a sex change operation at our expense? He's a convicted murderer, killed his wife, and left her in a car. Um, so what I'm going to do here, I'm not going to use one of these screw-on connectors that uses threads because I can't get to the other side of it because I've got a block of wood there and I've got a wire runs right beside that. So I bought these snap-in wire connectors. They have little barbs and you can put them in from one side. I looked online, I searched a variety of websites and I went to my electrical supply and I asked them, I said, do you have these snap-in wire connectors? They said, oh yeah, sure. Bought a whole box of them. Sometimes finding things online is, what do they say? It's uh, an exercise in frustration. Watch this. It snaps right in. Come on, baby. There, snapped in. Speaking of trying to find things online, I was noticing a friend of mine was using a nail clipper. He was trying to clip the edge of his nail, and I have these pointy ones that have a point on the end. Instead of being half round like your typical nail clipper, these have a point on the end. They're called cuticle clippers. So I figured, well, I'll just buy one at Amazon instead of going to Walmart. So I had a buddy of mine who's on the computer look it up. He says Amazon doesn't sell them. Walmart doesn't stock them in the store anymore, nor are they available online. They have a little pair of pliers, which is called a cuticle nipper, but I want a cuticle clipper. So I looked in the trim line, and the lacrosse line, and the Revlon line, <laughs> and finally found something on eBay. This guy, RX Wholesale, which is prescription wholesale, sells all kinds of trim brand toenail clippers and fingernail clippers. He doesn't have the one that I want, but I sent him an email. Can't believe it. Walmart used to carry it. I used to buy them. I've got one in every vehicle. 
when you've got a piece of skin on the corner of your nail that you want to trim. This is perfect because it's a pointy toenail or fingernail clipper, but you can't get it. Not at Walmart online, and not in the stores, and not at Amazon. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. I'm going to have to buy a dozen of these little clippers. I'll show it to you in a little while. It's got a point on the end. It's kind of cool if you got a little piece of skin. Of course, you can't see my skin because i got the gloves on. All right, so this is going to be a hot return. I've got to collect my thoughts here while I use the tenon's nicely upholstered chair. I have to run a power wire now to continue. Power to the smoke detector and a power continuation from there to here and then a hot return to there. And then the light switch I'm going to just leave the way it was. It powers up that receptacle right there. All right. Got to keep my brain screwed on and not hook it up to the upstairs by mistake like I just did. Boy, it's 5.30. I think I made the last video three hours ago. Well, there's my thermostat wire for the heater. I just removed the thermostat, which was way in the corner. What a stupid place, huh? Whole buildings like that. And I got to jumble the wires here to fix. Power wire to the new receptacle that I put beside the bed. Uh, power wire to the lamp and the original power wire and the continuation of the power to the lamp switch and the smoke detector. And I actually have some juice here. Watch this. I made a mistake. Uh, oh, I can't show you. I got that taped up to put it through the electric box. I made a mistake. I put an extra switch wire in here. I had to pull it out. So I said, wait a second. I got too many wires. So I got a hot to the smoke detector and then it continues to here and light switch will turn on to be installed ceiling fan and original and thermostat. Been here the whole day pretty much. It's 5.30 and I've been here since 10.30, 11. Alright, stuff things back in the wall. I don't have a double box to put there, a plastic one. I have to go to Lowe's, son of a gun, for a $2 piece of junk. Don't believe it. One of these double blue boxes. Oh well. Light switches. Receptacle on the wall, receptacle beside the bed, and overhead lamp. I'll show that. That 9 volt one can go. A little patch there. 110 volt smoke detector. Let's see if it works. Oh, yeah. That'll wake me up. And that turns on that light, and this one turns off the computer and stuff. We did it. Awesome. Get to work. I will. Thank you. <laughs> All landlords are the same, huh?